Perseverance has encountered some strange rocks during its mission, but the latest one may be the strangest. Surrounded by hundreds of other normal-looking rocks is one that's hollow. How is this possible? On this episode of Mars Guy. Two weeks ago, Perseverance arrived at its current location to explore what appears to be an extension of the mudstones it encountered in Hogwallow Flats, also known as the Bacon Strip. The view from the ground shows similar patches of smooth, light-toned bedrock. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The scene is also littered with gray cobbles and boulders. Thanks to the 110mm zoom on Mass Cam Z, Z is for zoom, we've got close-up images of this scene, including a very strange boulder. Crumbling only partially describes it. Hollowed out also applies. It looks like this portion fell away from the main mass, adding to the appearance of a thick shell of material surrounding an empty interior. Seeing this strange rock reminded me of some that always confused me as a kid, riding in the family car on the way to downtown Minneapolis. Decades later, I learned the story that these artificial rocks were part of Loring Cascade, a man-made waterfall built in 1917 to beautify a city park, a gift of Charles Loring. There's Jazz Age Guy for scale. Maybe it's Charles. I'll go out on a limb and guarantee that this Mars rock is not artificial, but it may have once been part of a cascade, a raging flash flood actually. The hill that rises behind it and the well-exposed layers of rock help to tell the story, aided by a mosaic of views from the telescope of the SuperCam instrument. This shows that perched among the layers of sedimentary rock laid down in the ancient river delta, is a collection of rounded cobbles and boulders eroding out of a cliff. We've seen a very similar boulder conglomerate elsewhere in the Delta Front, which was described in the first science paper of the mission and presented in episode 28. It takes raging water to move boulders this big, evidence that the Jezero Delta was built in part with flash flood deposits. Spotting similar deposits on another portion of the delta reinforces the idea that floodwaters repeatedly poured into Lake Jezero billions of years ago. They also help explain why this landscape is littered with seemingly random boulders. It's likely that they were torn from outcroppings of rock outside of Jezero Crater, more than 10 kilometers away. The presence of boulders higher up, littering the top of this hill, shows the deposition of flood deposits at a later time. The hollowed out boulder likely was liberated from one of these flood deposits and tumbled down from above. The hollowing out probably represents a kind of erosion known as cavernous weathering, which can be initiated and driven by salt weathering. On Earth, the growth of salt crystals from fluids percolating through rocks, like these ignimbrite deposits in Chile, cause their physical disintegration. Maybe this boulder was primed with salts while still in its channel, which then slowly disintegrated it from the inside after it tumbled down the hill, perhaps from subsequent cycles of wetting and drying. Regardless of the details of its origin story, this hollowed out boulder is very real, the product of a long history of natural processes.